We're live at KSU Stadium here in Manhattan, Kansas. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nebraska lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Kansas State's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. To the 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. It always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. Fires it out. And they finally push him out at the 37. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Makes it out to about the 26. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. And he's tackled right away. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. He's taken down around the five-yard line. That's a game on the end of the That makes it second and two. Got the corner. Touchdown, Wildcats. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Play fake and looking to run. 
Slides down. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Rushed out, and he's going to get sacked. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Johnson is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Brooks back deep to return. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. Taken down at the 45-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. He fights forward to about the 36. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Under pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Throws into coverage, just picked off. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. They run it left. They go to the left for a nice game. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one.
We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. He's on the run, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 49. First down. the stop at about the 47 yard line from the 47 yard line it's second down he scrambled they bring him down he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Watch out here. Tackle made at about the 41. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 33. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 28. Catches it, and that's all. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. left finding his tailback tackle around the 44 yard line from their own 44 yard line first down quick throw to the tight end he's tackled around the 47 yard line the quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and on an early down. Looking for the corner. Makes it to the 31. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play action pass.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. Now he tries to buy some time. And this play is number eight on the drive. He gets rid of this one. Third down again. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. They'll work the left side with a counter play. Kansas State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 10-yard line, second down. They go with the run, and they hit him in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. This is the 12th play of this drive. Flips it, middle to the running back. Brought down at the nine. That's good for a gain of one yard. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kansas State is looking to go up by three. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, False start. offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the vest so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 27. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. Kansas State leads it 10-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step rep, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk.
Homer back Great first time. half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Stays in bounds made a nice catch so a nice little pitch and catch there and that'll give the offense a first down that was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains he's taken down at about the 43 yard line that makes it second, and eight. second and eight ball on the 43 yard line The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 40. He's finally tackled at the 19. First down. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. They hand it off. Runs right for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll make it third and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 14. Thompson sets up the play action. Now he's scrambling. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Slings it. Touchdown, Nebraska! hits the PAT. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 14-10, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Yeah. 
incomplete. He's got room. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. the 39-yard line. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. He gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he throws it away. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Takes it and he's tackled short. He gets it up and it's long enough and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Nebraska is up one. Tackle made the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. He's on the run. And he's sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, Maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker. Maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. From the 45-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Cornhuskers lead it by one.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nebraska up a point. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes around the 15-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. First and 10. Ball on the 15. He's on the run. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Nice move, and he scores. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pressured and brought down. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Brought down at the 24. Number 31, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make the third and 13. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Palmer is back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Nebraska is up by eight. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Number 16 brings him down at the 35-yard line. That makes it 33. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle from their own 44-yard line. First down. Just gets rid of it. 
Have you ever heard of sportsmanship? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football. Boy, this time it is incomplete, which stops the clock. I'm going to start pulling for the defense to get back into this game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. There he goes. Inside the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 21-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. Inside the 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Short over the middle, and he's tackled around the 32-yard line. Spikes the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Going deep. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he is drilled at the 13. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From the 13-yard line, second down. complete over the middle and he tackles him hard at the seventh he's hit and taken down the spike will stop the clock and this play is number eight on the drive. A short yardage defense here. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. And they're looking to get two points here. He got hit hard. Nebraska's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Nebraska is up a score. Let's go! Three, four, five. Two by 23. 
Takes a knee. And the ball game's over. The Cornhuskers come out on top. 28-21. Kansas State, 21. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.